How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today we're looking at Workhorse and my price target for it depending on what percentage of the USPS contract they get. Now I am not the first person to do this. I've seen a couple other people which I'll mention here in a second they've done this but I wanted to do this before they put out the videos and I just hadn't had the opportunity to. So hopefully you like this. If you do, leave that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And let me know your thoughts on their price target, depending on how much they get down in the comments. I appreciate it. Also, if you wanna join our Patreon, I update you with everything that I'm buying and selling. And then I also do portfolio reviews on camera for our weekly dividend investing series. So if you want to join that, you can. We're about four weeks back in the portfolio review, so definitely get a hold of that quick and do that before you know we're pushed too far out. Also, if you want some free stocks, you can use the links below. You can get one free stock worth up to $1,650 with Weeble as long as you deposit $100 or more, or you can just start investing with M1 Finance, which is my favorite brokerage. So we are looking at Workhorse today at about 310 on Monday. So this is gonna be a little bit farther back. The price might change a little bit in the next hour, but we're sitting at about $18.40 right now. And it's had a big day today after some news about a strategic alliance with Hitachi who will help them increase their manufacturing capacity. So that's very cool. But I wanted to do this price target video because there is a lot of questions from my subscribers and from just people in general, investors in Workhorse on what the price is going to do depending on the USPS contract. So if you don't know, UPS is giving out over $6 billion dollars worth of business over the next five years or so to build out a new fleet of their delivery trucks. Now, Workhorse is vying for this position, right? So there are three different companies that are still in the race. Workhorse is the only fully electric vehicle in the race still. And they also have contracts with Ryder to promote their vehicles in their fleet. They also have contracts with other companies too. So the price of Workhorse isn't just based on the USPS contract, but that's a huge part of it right now because that is why so many investors have been jumping into Workhorse. Now, I'm not the first person to do this price target video. Jack Spencer did this a few days ago, and I think he did a good job in this video, but I wanted to stop before the end. I didn't want to hear all of his price predictions because I wanted to formulate my own ideas around it. Also, Cake Trader did a video today too, actually on Monday. So if you're watching this on Tuesday, a day ago he made a price prediction video, and he did this about 10% ago because it was at about $16.30 or so, I think, when he started to film this. But I'm gonna tell you how I think Workhorse can double and what it really needs to do. So let's get started. So on the left, we have the percentage of the contract. On the right, we have the price change. So 0% of the contract, I think the price will go down about 60% per share. Now, of course, these are just my opinions, so I could be totally wrong. I am not a professional financial advisor. I'm not a stock analyst. But I think a lot of the people that are invested in the stock are waiting for that big USPS contract. If we don't get it, I think we'll see a pretty big pullback right away. Then I think it will kind of return a little bit over time, but I think that we'll see a huge drop of about 60% if they don't get any part of this contract. Now, if we get 25%, which I think is a pretty good scenario, pretty reasonable scenario, I think that they'll probably get 25 to 50% of the contract. I think the price will go up 50%. Now, my reasoning behind this is if they get 25% of the contract, that is about $1.5 billion over about five years. So that's $300 million a year. So they are about a $2 billion market cap company right now. If they get $300 million a year in revenue for this contract and they have a $3 billion market cap, that will give them a 50% upside from where they are now, that would be a price to sales ratio of about 10 so that is a pretty reasonable scenario when you look at some of the peers it has in the EV sector. For example, Tesla, which of course has a much larger market and market opportunity than Workhorse has, but they are selling at a price to sales ratio of about 16 right now. And this was before they had their 10% jump on Monday. If you look at another company, NIO, they are at a price to sales ratio of about 15. So a price to sales ratio of about 10, I don't think is out of the question, especially when you think that this opportunity with USPS is not the whole market for the last mile delivery vehicles, right? 
So on Workhorse's last presentation, they say that's an $18 billion market. So there's still room for them to grow even after they get this USPS contract. But even if we just look at something like the S&P 500, that still has a price to sales of about 2.5 right now. So this is not out of the question for them to have a price to sales ratio of about 10. Now if we see Workhorse get about 50% of the contract, I think we'll jump 100%. I think that that'll be enough news and there'll be enough revenue there for it to jump and double. Now whether this takes two days or a week, I don't know, but I think that we could definitely see it double if they get 50%. Now if they get 75%, I don't think they will continue at that trajectory of 50% for every 25% of the contract they get. I think at that point, it might turn down a little bit just because there's less opportunity. They have a huge contract, but whether it's 50% or 75%, I don't think that will make the stock double from one scenario to the other or anything like that. But I think it could send the price up dramatically still and put it right around a $40 stock or so. Um, I think it will make it jump about 125%. Now, if we get 100% of the USPS contract, which I do not think we'll get, but if we do, I could see the price change of about 150%. I could see it in the low to mid 40s. Now, I think that it could go up higher than that, but I'm trying to be on the safe side here. So at 100% of the contract, that would be revenue of about 1.2 billion a year. So even just at a price to sales ratio of about five, that would send the price up about 150%. Their market cap's $2 billion right now. If it goes up 150%, it'll be at 5 billion, about 1.2 billion a year. That is just a price to sales ratio of four. And I think at that point, we'll almost see so much growth in the stock that people will start to be a little bit cautious just because it's gone up so much so fast. And for the fact that this is a pretty small sector, right? So if they get the $6 billion contract, that is a large portion of the work and of the revenue that these companies can get this year. I think that, you know, we'll probably see 150% return, give or take, maybe 50%. But I don't think we'll see a quadruple in value or anything like that because that would send them at a price to sales ratio that is very high. And unlike NIO or Tesla, they don't have a huge market. So they're not selling to every person in the United States and the world like Tesla and like NIO, but they'll be selling to a lot of these companies that need the final mile delivery vehicles. So I could see them going up about 150%, but I don't see them going up a ton more than that. I think that would be hard to reach, but let me know your thoughts below. Let me know what your price target is on Workhorse with each of these scenarios, if you don't mind putting all that in there. Then also, again, if you want those links down below, get that free stock from Webull, sign up for Patreon, or just start investing with M1 Finance. I would really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel a lot. Thank you for hitting the like button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.